Today we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord, which means the showing, display, manifestation, or revelation of Jesus, specifically when Mary showed Jesus to the Magi. The Jesus, Jesus was shown to the Magi, wise men from the East, who had been searching for a prophesied new king who would be born in Judea. Upon finding Jesus, the Magi worshipped Jesus and offered Jesus three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. How did the Magi find Jesus? The Magi found Jesus in two primary ways, by reading the book of creation and by listening to the book of sacred scripture. Their title, Magi, is a clue for how the Magi read the book of creation. The word Magi comes from the ancient Persian word Magush, which our word magician comes from. The magicians of ancient times, especially the Persian ancient magicians, were known to be astrologers, men who read prophecies from the stars. At the time of Jesus, not only were there prophecies of a future Judean king that was in the Bible and what were circling among the Jewish people, but also outside of Judea, there were circulating prophecies of a future Judean king who would rule the world. In the writings of the ancient Roman historians Suetonius and Tacitus, both who come from the first century AD, both refer to the ancient prophecy of a ruler or rulers who would come from Judea and eventually rule the entire world. The Magi believed that the constellation of the stars indicated the time had come for this newborn king of the Jews, since they had seen his star at its rising. Going to Jerusalem, the capital city of the Jews, the Magi asked where this newborn king of the Jews is. Jewish priests and scribes versed in scripture then quoted from the prophet Micah, who prophesied that this Jewish king would come from Bethlehem, the town that David came from. Then the Magi, the Magi then left Jerusalem, and upon leaving Jerusalem, they saw a star that mysteriously moved through the sky until it rested over the place where Jesus was. Since stars cannot choose to move across the sky, what was this star? Stars, after all, don't have a free will and an intellect. According to some church fathers, this star was not an actual star, but a being who has an intellect, who can choose to move, and that is an angel that appeared through the form of a bright light that looked like a star. This interpretation makes sense since frequently, as scripture commentators point out, angels are depicted in scripture as stars. Most of us will likely not see an angel as a miraculous light moving through the sky, giving us direction in life. However, may we believe more deeply that these supernatural intelligences are present and encompass our world. Some of these intelligences are fallen and demonic, and want us to be deceived by false promises of happiness that, like shooting stars or fireworks, vanish, leaving us feeling emptier after they vanish. Other angelic intelligences want to lead us somewhere, to give us actual meaning, by leading us not only to somewhere, but to someone, Jesus, to the Christ, Christ child born on Christmas Day, and who alone gives us ultimate meaning, direction, and purpose in life. Christmas blessings.